If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to... Well, normally the most fun day of the week. Today, I don't know why, I'm not feeling it. Um... Normally get quite excited. I mean, red pick wise, this is probably the best we've had this FIFA. Um, quite a few players there I wouldn't mind getting. Quite a few players that would maybe change the look of the team somewhat. I think um, Salah being the biggest one in terms of a high rated. I, I mean, obviously, as a Liverpool fan, I would love to get Salah. He's not the top of the list, believe it or not, though. I have two players ahead of him. First of which is going to be Big Wilf. Five star skills, 93 pace. Doesn't fit the team at all, but would be very nice off the bench. I would I would be a big fan of him off the bench. Paul Pogba, five-star skills, reasonably well-rounded. Yes, he has a rule breaker. Yes, it's better. But I like that card. And I, 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 I would very much like to get him as a red pick, as I'm sure most people would. He's very expensive. I prefer to pack him in tradable rewards. But I would take him as a red pick, that's for sure. So Zaha or Pogba would be better for me personally because I would prefer Zaha off the bench and Pogba may work his way into the team somehow. Salah would be really good off the bench and because I'm a Liverpool fan, one of those three would be really nice. I would also take Human Son, as I'm sure most people would. I'm not a massive fan of the 87, I won't lie to you. Obviously, I was never going to do the... Uh, player of the month so getting the 88 and having him on the bench I don't know if I'd honestly don't know if I'd ever bring him on uh, I just like I said I'm not a fan Quadrado I'd like to have for the Ronaldo link Milinkovic Savic would be decent but probably would never get used and I think that's about it I mean I wouldn't turn Trippier down because I would like to try him but his pace does let him down and I think that's about it I mean to be fair that's enough in itself though right We've got three players that I would love to get as red picks. Pogba, Zaha, Salah. Son Quadrado would be really nice, even though they're not in my top three. And then Milinkovic, Savic and Trippier are still, I would say, semi-desirable. They're not desirable, but they are semi-desirable. So we'll claim foot champs first, as we do. We finished elite three. Oh, no, finished. Uh, yeah, that's right. I finished. We do every week. Goal three. Not sad about it. It's what I'm willing to play to. It's what I'm happy and comfortable to play to. And there we go. These are the picks. Let's get into it. Let's just open it up. Yeah. El Arabi uh, for the first one. I'll take it. I'm not really bothered though. Anything that isn't like Pogba or Salah or Son or whatever will probably get dumped into an upgrade at some point. Unless it's Milinkovic Savic. In which case I will use him in another SBC. And our second pick, I'm not feeling it, like I said. Hey, we get Lopez. That's not terrible, you know. I'll take that. Um, Lopez may go into an SBC. He may go into an upgrade. He may get used for something. Depends what icon swaps makes us do. But an 84 and an 86, not terrible. Like I said, I wasn't really feeling it today. So the fact that we've got an 84 and an 86 is actually... Much better than I thought we were going to get. I honestly thought we were going to get like 282s or something. I just wasn't feeling it at all. So that's decent. Rivals. Uh, I know this is going to be boring, but I'm taking coins this week. I'm joking. I am taking untradables. We're going to take untradables every week. I mentioned this before for those who are wondering why we don't just take tradables or coins. It's because I make enough money in this game through playing champs and from trading that I'm not really that bothered about the like these packs are just a really nice bonus. So we'll take four megas, two rare golds, and two rare mega packs. Division two, rank one. Happy days. We are already registered for the upcoming weekend league. That should be fun. Let me just see if I can relist everything because I think it was about now, an hour ago. There we go. Yeah, so we can relist that. We sold a few of these things here, which is uh, very nice. Very nice. That um, Marcus Lorente made about 1,500 on him. Made 1,400 on Mukiele. Uh, not much. 500 coins or so on Emre Chan. 1,000 coins Deli Ali. 1,000 coins Vidal. And about 700 coins on Van der Beek. Don't mind if I do. Got all that to sell as well. 
And uh, I've, I'm, these aren't up for sale, but these are 83s. I've gone out and I've bought them. Hang on, how do I show you? I've gone out and I've bought them. As you can see, 2,000 on him. He's got a shadow on him, though, to be fair. 1,005 for just a normal um, Dubravka I've packed. Jean Moutinho bought for 1.6, 1.6. I think the other one's 1.6. And then back to Odegaard, 1.2. Reason I've done that, just a small investment. I've not gone crazy on them, but I've got a feeling that this new freeze promo, potential icon swaps, and a various few other factors may cause 83s to rise soon. So I've just... I've not like banked on it because I've still got 1.7. You know, I'm I'm fine for it. But um, I thought, well, I'll do a little bit. I, you know, I'll just invest a little bit. What do we have here? We literally just have rival rewards. So, and and weekend league, of course. So we'll just jump into the rear golds. Like I said, I'm not expecting anything. Although I would very much like. Oh, that was dodgy. I would very much like fodder here. Like, don't get me wrong. I would love to pack an icon. That's what we're still looking for. Neymar, an icon. Allison, that would be the dream. However, just Ter Stegen or or Black or something. Look at that badge and stadium theme. That cannot be a coincidence. It just can't be. But um, something of that nature. Just high rated fodder, please. 89, 90 rated, so I can complete Xiao Felix. We get a board in our second pack of the day it is german it is a goalkeeper and it's hey it's leno so that's what 85 yeah 85 that's not bad i'll take that i'm very happy with that that's what we want you know this sort of fodder higher rated the better obviously but uh, an 85 burnt leno is definitely not to be sniffed at gonna have to discard jonathan tar one of the only untradeables i have in the entire club such as life Mega pack uh, number one will be tradable because we took Foot Champs rewards first. If you weren't aware, that's how it works. It's not which pack you select, it's which you claim first. Here we go. Unfortunately, it is only a board, it's not a walkout, but it could be. Nope, it's not going to be anything expensive. Oh, maybe. Jimenez, 84. Don't know how much 84s are going for right now. Not quite sure on that one, but um, we'll see. Oh. Well, I mean, I think I'm going to... Do I take that? No, I'll keep him. I'll keep him for now. I mean, let's be honest. They're not going lower than that, are they? 84s. Especially for someone like Jimenez, who is from a good league. Not a particularly great nation for links or anything, but uh, from a good league. This, I mean, that... They may sell, for all I know. I just... I don't know. But I'm not clogging up my trade pile. For the sake of 200 coins. Do you get two tradable mega packs from Foot Champs? Let's find out if you do. Because if you do, this one should be tradable as well. Walk out please, EA. No. It's a UCL, which is anything up to 85 when it's in a normal pack. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's an 81. That's not a board, EA. Why you lie to me? Um, two UCLs in here. There is a rumor going round, and to be honest, based on my packs the last few days, I believe it. There's a rumor going around that EA have buffed the UCL drop in packs. Look at the amount of players we have there. Madness. Yeah, there's a rumor that they've boosted the amount of UCL cards in packs. And I am inclined to believe it, because I am packing a lot more just from like... Um, just on like 5k packs and 75 pluses and just random reward packs that we get from objectives. I seem to be packing a lot more UCL cards, which, you know, they were very rare. Uh, you very rarely packed them, but now we just seem to get them all the time. So, I don't know. Next mega pack from now on, these mega packs are untradeable and we get ourselves a Libertadores card in here. Could be a board. Could be. Hopefully it is. It isn't. Again, another UCL card in Jovic, but it is untradeable as I say. Um, I know a lot of people won't like me mentioning this, but I feel like it's a little hint that um, may help the early adopters. These cards count toward doing upgrades. So if you want to do UCL or you want to do the rare uh, player picks, you can use Libertadores, uh, Libertadores and Sudamericana. So if you have loads in your club and you don't plan on doing the SBC when it returns, or you want to go on the market and try and buy them a little bit cheaper, you can. Because they count as rare cards, rare gold cards as well. So there you go. Uh, I know some, some people won't thank me for telling you that. But um, I've reinstalled mine. The SBC isn't there anymore. 
and they are dirt cheap right now and people don't think about them when they build packs for upgrades next mega pack Ugh, oh, and it's another board. It's an inform. Well, I would say it's a cheap 10k, but it's not because... Oh, hello. That's going to be uh, Hugo Mallow. 82 rated. Not bad for SBCs, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not a cheeky 10k because it's an untradeable pack, but I will take it. Um, I'm happy to have an inform. Again, a lot of players in there. A lot of players in there. Let's throw all that in the club. What's our duplicate? It's going to be manager. He is sellable, but unfortunately... He doth not sell. Uh, he sells for at 250 coins before someone said you could have sold him. And he discarded for 256. Who's the real winner? Mega pack number 47. Please let this be the one. It's not the one. It's another board though. We are getting boards. That's a silver lining. We're getting Spanish boards. Uh, it's going to be... Please be Koke. Saul. Koke is 85. For those who are wondering why I wanted Koke. But we get Saul. <sighs> another UCL card. Another bunch of players again. Mega Packs are underrated as a pack um, type. <sighs> Unfortunately, that is untradeable. But it's only a 75. It's not a big deal. Final Mega Pack. We have flown through these today. Absolutely flown through them. I didn't ask for a walkout then. I was trying not to be greedy. It's an inform. <laughs> Odds on Spain. Oh, it's Sweden. Centre back. Uh, unfortunately, it could have been Forsberg, which would have been not too terrible. It's a 77 rated Biars... 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 My... No idea. Uh, we also get... Um... I mean, does it really matter what you get in a pack like this unless it's a board? Probably not. Hey, no duplicates in there. Would you believe it? So here we go. Two rare megas, both untradeable. Huge potential for a walkout. That's all I want. I just want something high rated. Don't care what it is, right? Could be Chiellini. I'll take a Chiellini. I'd be very happy with a Chiellini. Rare players pack being tradable. I, I want Pogba in that. I I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, and I'm not gonna try and be um, humble about it. Just want fodder in this and something sellable. In my tradable pack. I don't think I'm asking for a lot, really. We get the goalkeeper. I am joking, of course. I mean, I obviously would love Pogba. But I don't expect anything like that from these packs. We've packed three informs, by the way. I, I've i got a funny feeling they've dropped... Look at that. Three goalkeepers. Four goalkeepers. Unreal. Unreal stuff. Look at the scenes. I've just bought him. Um... I've listed him straight up, of course. Uh, of course. It was like a, a trade, right? But I just bought him with a shadow on. Don't see him very often. And for a two-star, two-star. Don't see him very often. But for managerial masterpiece being 75 rated, having decent pace, decent defending, you'd think he'd be a desirable card. I don't think I've ever played against him. Anyway, uh, we'll pull down the club. We've got two duplicates. We get an 83 Dubravka, who we can discard fantastic and we get uh, Diego Simeone who again we have to discard not too sad about that one but uh, the Dubravka a little bit upset rare mega pack numero dos come on EA please this time has to be the one oh it's not even a board it's uh Sudamericana no it's not it's Yilmaz uh, Yazitsi even Yilmaz what am I talking about Yazitsi I skipped it and I could have seen a, a team of the group stage I just thought Sudamericana, because it has the same colour as a Sudamericana. Didn't see the board at the back, but we do get an untradeable Yazitsi. Is it really exciting? Not really, because even if it was tradable, he is discard. But we have packed the team in the group stage, so at least I can check that off my bucket list. Um, Marcus Lorente, who isn't worth anything anymore, but I will take it for sure. He's worth uh, 3.5k with a shadow on, as you saw earlier, but unfortunately... Not putting the shadow on him, just to sell him for 35 k And it all comes down to this. I've, I've flown through rewards this week. I normally milk it a little bit more. You know, get my feel for it. But no, we've just flown through it. Tomorrow, I will have a 55 k pack, marquee matchups, and anything else I can scrape together. I say tomorrow. I'm, I'm thinking it probably won't. I don't know. Maybe it will go out tomorrow night, the road to glory. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Either way, we will end on this 50 k pack today. I am very close to completing Joe Felix. I just needed fodder. And unfortunately, we did not get any fodder today. And that's why I, I just wasn't feeling it, like I said. 
we get to Roy Patricio. I just woke up and I thought, you know what? Today's not the day. And it's mad that you can feel... I mean, obviously, if I'd packed something, like... a, a I mean, that's not bad, to be fair. I don't know how much Goretzka's worth these days. A little bit more than what an 84 is probably selling for. Because an 84, yeah, 84 is selling for about 5k. So Goretzka's worth a little bit more than that, which is quite nice. So I might try and sell Goretzka for, what, 7? Seven, 7.5 or something? Let's try and list uh, Goretzka up for... Seven, seven, six, and see if we can get that because that's not too bad. As far as 50k packs go, I've seen worse, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, it, it's it's mad that you can wake up and think, right, well, I know today's not going to be the one, right? And it just it just isn't. Even if I'd packed Chiellini, I would have been like, you know what, that's a good day, very happy with that. As it stands now, if I want to complete Jao Felix, I either have to wait until I open more packs tomorrow, or I have to just buy the card I need to, to complete the SBC. Um, oh my days, why did I not buy him when he was 50k? Well, he wasn't, to be fair. I missed the one that was 50k, but still, could have bought him when he was 60, and I was like, nah, I've seen one for 50. Why would I want to spend 60? Now he's 68k. We need, we need him. I need him, full stop. Um, mainly because Edison probably going to go into um, Jao Felix. Let me show you the Jao Felix SBC very briefly. I've completed two of the three segments and I will complete it before I start my weekend league games. Not that I need him for weekend league, I just will complete it, right? So that's the way it looks. I, yes, I've completed Komen. Yes, I've put Komen in here. Yes, Human Son is in there, and yes, I know Aubameyang are in there. And I know a lot of people are going to be very upset about this because you'd love to have Aubameyang or Human Son in your team. I know, I know. But I can't give them to you, and I can't sell them, and I don't use them because my team is good enough and better than, than they are, right? So we have a Human Son waiting to come back into the club because I need to recover. That card. So as soon as I get rid of him, I get him back again anyway. Aubameyang has played like four games. Seven games. My bad. He's actually done really well. But he still played only seven games. I packed Tony Kroos yesterday in an in a UCL um, upgrade. I, I would have shown you, but I'm, I'm lazy and I forgot. I have, an, um, I have just unlocked De Lefeu. And if you think I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm not. Go ask Roberto Martinez. Uh, but... Um, I don't think I just got... Did I get anything else I could just use here? I, I don't think I did, right? I mean, maybe, maybe I got like an 85. I got maybe Lopez. I know he's a red pick, but... When you when you get over like an 85, 86 red pick... There becomes very little point putting them into the um, weekend league upgrade. And you might as well just use them in, in this. The only problem with this is they're all 85s anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, and Edison. Edison's in here. He's untradeable, right? I'm a big fan of Edison. Uh, I think he's fantastic. He is my my main man. Saved me so many times. Unfortunately, I can't sell him. And he doesn't give chemistry to Van Dyke. Allison does. So my thought process was, put him in here. Go buy Allison. Job done. Makes sense. So that was the, the thought process behind it. At the moment, though, the only problem is I need to buy Benzema. I know I'm one chem off, but I can get that if I just convert um, human son or something, right? So... Never going to use Coleman, probably. Um, we've just explained Edison. Song comes back in. I don't use Aubameyang. I don't care about the other cards anyway. And then Mole. Yeah, it's a shame to give him up. But again, I, I can't remember the last time I used him. I really cannot remember the last time I even brought him on as a sub, let alone started him. So I don't really bother about him either. Benzema right now. Um, Benzema's like quite cheap considering for an 89 rated. So, uh, oh, come on now, game. So, 48k, 46, 45. I could buy him for 45k. That's not a lot, especially when you've got 1.7 million. I, I appreciate that, but I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible. There is a reason I have 1.7 million. It's not because I go out and splash money here or there and everywhere. So, for right now, I am very tempted to just submit that right now. I won't lie to you. But I, I might wait until I open a couple more packs just to see. Uh, and then I'll submit Joe Felix away. And he will be popped onto the bench. 
Um, which bench will he be popped on? Not that one. Uh, that is not the team he will go into. That's the team he will go into. Uh, if I'd pack, packed Pogba, by the way, Pogba may have replaced Blanc. I'm not sure how it would have worked, but he may have done. And then, or, I mean, no, nah, he wouldn't have replaced Kante. He probably would have replaced Blanc. And then I would have try to work it out from there. I don't know how I would have worked it out. Maybe he would have gone up there and someone, I don't know, whatever. It, it, it would have, I would have done something. But, um, yeah. I'm alright with it. I'm alright with it. Uh, Joe Felix to come on the bench. EA to drop something new tomorrow. We've packed a team of the group stage, albeit like, think the worst one we could have got. But still, we packed one, so it's fine. I suppose he's better than Elvedi, maybe. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not disappointed today because I wasn't expecting anything, so it's fine. Let me know what you got in your rewards. You can tweet me, of course. My link for that is down below. If you have enjoyed today's episode of The Road to Glory, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.